Good evening, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with your Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 17th, 2021. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, everything else affecting humanity. Starting out here, looking at a pretty spastic sun right now. 194 angstroms, and look at the top left side. We had a couple flares there for sure. Crusting sunspot very active Z -z 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 zap I'd say holy moly I haven't seen the sun act like this for a while large plasma filaments outgoing to looking at last 48 hours imagery another quick look here at the region that is acting up just wait until you see the multi-spectrum another quick look here at the plasma filaments taken off there outgoing connected to something for sure and I'm pretty sure it's the cresting sunspot look at multi-spectrum here vibration electrical spastic event happening on the top left of our sun here I haven't seen that kind of action on our sun or documented for that matter looking here at an earth facing now coronal hole and our incoming activity. Solar flux increasing, geomagnetic activity remains low. Looking at our real time solar wind, and we are sitting at about 375 kilometers per second. Quite a bounce there between the polarities on the sun. Looking here at core two and core three, the last eight hours of imagery. And showing no events thwarted our way. But looking here the last couple of days, you can see that there's been an increasing corona. This is the last two days. And look at our Schumann resonance for today. Wow, a power of 67. That's quite a spike, friends and family. Look at that May 17th large Schumann spike. And we are expecting a coronal hole wind stream. This could be plasma ahead of it. So a power of 67 and a quality of 11. Let's have a look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours. I did give an earthquake update this morning. But since then, we've had a 5.4 in Alaska, which did ring out a tsunami watch. No tsunami was imminent, no and across the United States reported as, of course, the Canada earthquake and as well, the interesting earthquakes now popping up across the U.S. 3.2 there, B.C., Mexico border. But Dollar Point, California, 3.4 at a 7-kilometer depth. So the earthquakes are coming back to Lake Tahoe and you can see here four of them in the past week. But a 3.4 earthquake in the middle of Lake Tahoe I'd really hate for that thing to quake and drain. Lots of activity northwest of Lake Tahoe and Truckee still. Also looking across USGS, most notable here, Cobb Mountain. Swarm happening there. And as well through Mena, Nevada. And Tom's Place, Mammoth Mountain, and our regular Ridgecrest, Little Lake, moving northward towards Little Lake. Minor earthquake 
to report here Hawaii 2.5 35 kilometer depth and then most of these earthquakes I did report early this morning since then though we've had another 5.4 in Iran 4.4 following and then all of this activity through Japan wow 4.9 4.5, 4.7, moving northward, and that was after the Kuril Islands through Russia there, 4.3, deep earthquake. Even further south here, towards Taiwan. Papua New Guinea, 4.4, 4, 417 kilometer depth. And then a couple new earthquakes here, Vanuatu, 4.4, 4.5, fairly deep earthquakes there as well. But yeah, largest earthquake, 5.4, deepest, 417 kilometer depth. Have a quick look here, the last seven days for earthquakes, as it's been pretty calm, considering, ever since the large earthquakes here in the Indian Ocean. But it seems like the activity is coming back, especially to northwestern parts of the Ring of Fire through Japan, And I still think it's way too quiet here in North America. Heads up, stay aware and prepared and have a plan, everybody. Speaking of have a plan, prayers and thoughts to everybody being affected tonight by tornado warnings. There has been at least 23 tornado warnings popping off across Texas and eastward towards Louisiana. And, and as well, Albuquerque, New Mexico. So stay tuned to your local weather stations and please come and check out the live stream. It will be up right after this premiere. I was very ill today. I needed to rest. I'm feeling much better now. Thank you for all of your prayers and your concern. I saw everybody in the live stream afterwards, but I had to shut it down. I was really not well. Let's have a look at the most recent volcanoes to update. Nevados de Rules, Fuego, Sangue, Reventador, Sabinkaya, Pacaya, as well as Kono. Many, many storms, storm alerts across the world right now. La Soufrière in St. Vincent, Suez to Najima, Japan. Flood alerts, flood alerts. Ebuko, Russia, Ibu, Indonesia, Semeru, Indonesia, Langila, Popo, Shevaluch. And as well, Sinabung, Indonesia. So yeah, a long list of disaster alerts. Please, if you want to stay alert and as up-to-date as I do, download Disaster Alert app. And it gives you real-time notifications for all disasters around the world. Only one tropical storm to talk about right now. And that's, of course, Tropical Cyclone Tukte, who has already ravaged western parts of India and it is now heading inland right now into the Mumbai Bay. And it's making landfall right now in Raljul as a Category 3 cyclone, but it will quickly dissipate as it heads northward into the mountains. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and, of course, Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base Calgary, Alberta. Yeah, we were up to, what, 26 degrees today. That's got to be our highest temperature yet for 2021. But then look at the temperatures dropping in this long-range forecast. What's up with that? Well, low-pressure system coming from the north. And that's why we got all this warm air. Look at that. 28, 29 forecasted in parts of Saskatchewan. But here in Alberta, very, very nice. Calgary, looks like we will be unscathed by the snow that will be forming. Cold temperatures behind this low-pressure system. A lot of rain developing across eastern Canada and into the Atlantic provinces as well through the long range. And of course, extreme weather to continue all around this high-pressure ridge on the east coast of North America, United States. Through Texas, these storms will continue the next few days. And then watch for snow to move into parts of the upper Midwest. 
and lots of moisture here moving into the BC coastline with that developing low through Alberta. Sorry, creating the developing low. Overlooking the Atlantic. Interesting equatorial low pressure system whipping here into the United Kingdom is going to bring in some really warm temperatures. They're probably going to feel like spring now and probably long overdue for a lot of people. But still over this next five days, a lot of gray days ahead of you, low pressure systems lingering around and a lot of moisture. West Indies, no major weather systems to talk about. Southeast Asia. Watch for tropical cyclone Takte to make landfall as of now and then head into the Mongolian mountains. And we'll see where it goes in the long range forecast after that. I don't even think they know here in this forecast. No other major tropical systems developing across the equator right now. Daily evaporation rains continue through Indonesia, Malaysia, heavier towards Papua New Guinea. Very cool southeastern Australia and dry all across the continent, except for later in the week. Watch for moisture to move in here, parts of southwestern Australia. And then we have a big tropical system here that will be heading towards New Zealand, northern parts of New Zealand in the long range forecast here. So watch for the rain to move away, high pressure ridge move in, and then long range forecast next Tuesday, or sorry, next Saturday, you could have a cyclone on your doorstep. A little bit of moisture here moving into Hawaiian Islands. Nothing major though. Storms and low pressure system here moving into parts of Chile and Argentina. Pretty vigorous low on the western side there. Overlooking Africa. No major weather developments there either. Except for pretty cool temperatures uh, hanging around there. South Africa, parts of Cape Town. Going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Much love to you all and thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button. And if you really enjoy these updates, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of them. Much love to you all. Prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the